According to a survey, the average TikTok user spends 75 minutes per day on the app. And sources all over the internet have said it's causing lower attention spans, higher addiction levels, regular sleep, low self-control, dread and anxiety, insecurity. reduces memory and attention, attention health. Which is bull****. I've been posting on TikTok for over a year now, and let me tell you, the football fans on there, they're on ultra high alert. You do not get away with anything on football TikTok, okay? Even the smallest mistake, and they will be on to you. And it pisses me off, okay? I hate the fact that whenever I post a TikTok, I've now got thousands of people praying for me to make a mistake so they can tell me to never make content again, okay? It's horrible. So... It's time I get some revenge. I'm going to record five separate TikToks, but with a twist. Because in each one, I will sneak a different footballer somewhere into the background. My audience will hopefully think it's just another regular normal video, but in reality, they'll actually be taking part in an experiment. Testing how strong their attention really is without them even knowing. Okay, so I've just finished editing the video, which means it is now done, and it's time for us to put in the footballer. Now, for the first video, I'm going to use Ronaldo, a player that everyone knows, everyone recognizes, so it's fair game. I want to put him in this little corner where the door is right there, so he's like poking out. I think that'd be really funny. So, in order to do that, we've got to rotate him around and then shrink him right down. Not too big, but also not too small. We don't want to make it unfair for people, but we also don't want to make it obvious for them too. I think there's a little sweet spot. We've got to aim for that. Shrink him down a little bit more, line him up with the door frame. I think that's pretty good. Let me watch this back in full time. Perfect. Perfect. Right. That is good. Not too obvious, but also not too subtle either. I think that will trick a lot of people. Okay, so it's been two days since the TikTok, which I think is long enough for us to finally check the result. The video itself performed really well. 565,000 views. We will take that. But the real question is, did any of those 135 comments notice my little scheme? Everyone's just commenting about Slovakia, the pitch invader. Slovakia, Slovakia, Croatia. Everyone's just talking about the stadiums themselves. I think, I honestly think we've gotten away with this. Oh. I just don't get it. Okay, I guess that's 1-0 TikTok. I think what's most impressive is the fact that Ronaldo's in this video at 33 seconds. By this point, most people are normally quite immersed in the video, so I'm really surprised that that many people have spotted him. Okay, looks like we actually got a task on our hands today. I knew that for the second TikTok, I had to up the difficulty of hiding the player in some way. People had quite easily noticed Ronaldo, even though he was really small. So if this plan was to work, I'd have to put in a lot more effort into actually hiding the players. Which is why for TikTok number two, I decided to do a lot more editing around the player himself to physically hide him in the background rather than just make him really small and shove him in a corner. So I found a pretty standard PNG of Messi, shrunk him down, and thanks to the magic of Adobe, I was able to mask him inside of this chest thing on top of my wardrobe and i was pretty happy with my work literally they'll watch it as it's scrolling through and then hello right in the corner <laughs> i don't think they're gonna see this one honestly i think i might have just given myself a free win here everyone spotted him and i lost yeah that whole plan of masking messi into the background yeah that didn't work at all everyone spotted him in fact messi received even more recognition in the second one than ronaldo did in the first like masking a player into the background not a good idea apparently so with the score at 2-0 on tiktok threatening to run away with this one altogether i had to whip out the big gun Okay, the rig is set up. I'm now ready to record TikTok number three. Today's is going to be about where football clubs get their names from. How interesting. More importantly, I think I figured out how I'm going to win this one. See, what the Messi and Ronaldo TikTok both have in common is that they're hidden right by where my face is. And because when the camera's on me and I'm speaking into the lens, people are looking at my face. When I hide a footballer in that sort of vicinity, they're way easier to spot. So today we're going to be a little bit more rogue and a lot more smarter of how we hide this place. 
player. And rogue and smarter we were. Instead of hiding this player by my face, I would hide him in this bin by my bed. The player in question would have to have quite a circular face in order to fit inside the bin and not be too distracting. Of course, I went with Killian Mbappe. I cropped him out, shrunk him down, put him in place and decided to roll with it. Because if I lose this round, it would already be 3-0 and it would be game over. <laughs> Okay, it's been a few days. It's now time to check whether anyone has spotted the Ninja Turtle or not. Now, the video's got 475,000 views, which is all very good, but that does leave me a little bit concerned. That's a lot of people that could have seen Mbappe in there. As far as the comments are going, I've just got everyone telling me that the facts aren't true. I mean, look, everyone's just saying that the Borussia fact's not true. I literally researched it on the official Bundesliga website. But I think this is working in my favor because it's distracting everyone from Mbappe. Everyone's just commenting about that instead. No Mbappe, no Mbappe, no Mbappe, still no Mbappe, still no Mbappe. I think we're in the clear. Yeah, we are. We're at the end of the comments. No one spotted him. Okay, so hiding the player sort of away from my general face and that frame of the video, that works. That really works. Okay, this is good. This is very, very good. We'll take that win, but more importantly, we'll take that knowledge and apply that to the next video. Yeah, and this is where the story kind of gets out of control. After successfully breaking everyone in TikTok number three, I realized that as long as if I could find a way to hide the player somewhat away from my face, then I would have a really good chance of having nobody spot him. And yeah, I kind of got a bit carried away with this idea. Remember when I said I wanted to not make it too difficult for the audience? Yeah, well, that all goes out the window with TikTok 4. For TikTok number 4, I decided to Photoshop De Bruyne's face onto the Mandalorian poster in the background of the video, specifically onto bo face right here. And there were two big problems with this. A, that this poster and De Bruyne are both very orange, so they blend well, making it much harder to spot him. And B... He was about one pixel big. I mean, that's a screenshot from what it would have looked like when watching the video. How on earth did I expect anyone to spot that? And I'll save you the spoilers. Nobody did see him, obviously. Like, my TikTok audience is good, sure. They're not Sherlock Holmes. Okay, so that does technically put the scores at 2-2, but can I even take that as a legitimate win? We'll put an asterisk there and we'll move on to TikTok number five. The final TikTok. With the scores tied at 2-2, this was it. Now I could have easily done what I did for TikTok 4. Make the player a pixel big, blend him in with the background, nobody sees him, happy days. <laughs> no. See, it's not just about winning, it's about how you win. And so I decided I was gonna hide the fifth footballer in plain sight. I wanted to get a photo of our good friend Rick Astley and then Photoshop Harry Kane's face over him because they look kind of similar and then have that picture in the background of the video. That's right, a full-on Kane roll. How, you may ask? Well, let me draw your attention to this screen right here. This is me editing TikTok number five and if you take a closer look here, you can see a blank laptop screen there for about three seconds. I decided to Photoshop my Kane roll onto the screen and literally just leave it there like that. Hiding this thing in plain sight would be the perfect way to win this thing, so I had to go for it. And so I did just that, gave the thumbs up for good luck, and posted the video. Okay. I've got some very good news. The video got no views. People just didn't seem to care at all my god what are the chances hey eh? literally the most important video that i've uploaded this year and it has gotten by far the least amount of views that is that is incredible but judging by the fact that this video has got like 10 times less views than i normally get i'm kind of ready to accept that i've won here like barely any people would have commented anywhere Well, that brings us to the end of the story then, guys. Five mediocre TikToks and a failed scheme, and this is where I've ended up. Look at me. I'm a failed state of a human being. But in all honesty, I love you guys on TikTok. You've supported me all throughout the last year, and this video was just a bit of fun. Oh, which reminds me. 
Well done if you spotted the eight footballers I've hidden in the background of this video that you're watching on YouTube right now. Yeah, how's that for a plot twist? Anyway, if you spot all eight, please comment and I'll respond to all of them, I promise. Thanks for watching and goodbye.